Could planting one trillion trees be enough to help our climate problem? Well, some GOP leaders say yes, but now new research shows even a trillion new trees would not make much of a difference when it comes to our rapidly warming climate, which has not deterred plans, uh, the plans of advocates, including House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. For more on this, we are joined live on the KCBS Ring Central Newsline by Andrew Jones, Executive Director of Climate Interactive, a nonprofit think tank focusing on climate issues. Thank you so much, Andrew, for joining us. Happy to be here, Nikki. Okay, so what's the problem with planting one trillion trees? The problem is you don't really plant trees, you plant seedlings, and those seedlings take 30, 40 years to be big enough to remove a significant amount of carbon dioxide. And we did the math and we realized it only did 6% of the work of removing carbon from the atmosphere and cutting emissions as needed by 2050. It is just too little, too late to really be a serious solution. Is there anything wrong with planting a trillion trees, though? Is there is there a negative involved, or can it even help a little bit? I should be clear. I love trees. Trees are good, <laughs> right? Uh, urban heat island effect. We need them for biodiversity. We need them to cut erosion. But at that scale, it's never going to happen uh, because it is almost three Indias of land that would be required to plant a trillion trees. It is more than the U.S. land area spread around the world and they would be targeting land that people live on today. Mm -hmm. This would challenge equity. How do we feed people if we're pulling them off the land and not growing food there to plant trees to keep carbon out of the atmosphere when what we should be doing, of course, as you know, we need to stop burning coal, oil and gas. We need to cut methane and protect the existing forests that we have around the world. Let's, let's expand on that a little bit, Andrew, because obviously politics yeah. plays a role in this, um, but yeah. we need to move quickly. So what, what are some ideas besides planting a trillion trees that you think we can move quickly enough to make a difference? Yeah, well, there's the state proposal in California of a cap and trade program that would drive investment in energy efficiency, in electrification, in wind and solar that's so inexpensive now in protecting our existing forests cutting methane and, and other pollutants, changing diets. So many things can be done to cut the emissions in the next 10 years, not out in the 2040s and the 2050s. What about protecting the rainforests and other environments? How much of an impact does that make on, on helping combat climate change? So that is one of the quickest and most powerful things that we can do because we have existing older forests that are right now pulling carbon out of the atmosphere. It's Indonesia, it's Brazil, and we can affect that not just with the international policy like the UN negotiations, but by changing diets toward vegetarian diets and less food waste, those things help as well. Thank you to Andrew Jones. Thanks so much for joining us. Executive Director of Climate Interactive, a nonprofit think tank focused on climate issues, kind of countering the belief by some GOP leaders, including House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, that planting one trillion trees will help combat climate change.